Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new... Actually, a brand new... And not welcome back. We're actually starting off with F123 right here. I'm gonna be reacting, first of all, to the reveal tra trailer, but also um, to the deep dive that came out yesterday. Um, honestly, in the reveal trailer, I was a little bit disappointed, hence why I didn't make a video on it. But the deep dive got me a lot more interested uh, in F123. So let's head into it. The official reveal trailer. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it already. But as you can see there, um, this is basically Breaking Point 2. Now, you can see this uh, cutscene. The um, damage model looks different, but I think, to be honest, that's just not gonna be um, a cutscene thing. I don't think there's actually going to be a new damage model. Um, of course, we can hope. But as you can see here, uh, we have Las Vegas in the game. Um, can't wait for that. Obviously, it is probably not going to be, um, you know, a pinpoint perfect circuit. I think the first year when Jedi came out uh, on the game, uh, it came out before uh, they actually drove there in real life. And it's going to be the same here. So... Of course, might not be completely accurate, but, you know, you can't really uh, blame Cody's for that because, well, they've never driven there um, before. Um, of course, it's going to be on the strip, uh, I think, the main trade. So that's going to be interesting. Can't wait for Las Vegas. Yes. The race begins. Anything is possible. It's like the world. That's a proper Will Buxton moment there. <laughs> um, but yeah. I, I, the breaking point stuff might be fun for some people. Um, it's just it only lasts like three, four hours, and then you're done with it basically for the rest of the game. So every season you want to step up. There's always something to improve. Now, obviously, as many of you have seen, red flag added into the game. Now, when this came out, a lot of people were skeptical about it um, because they thought it was just going to be like only a breaking point and stuff and not for online. But in the deep dive, they announced that it is going to be a thing um, online as well. And it's basically gonna be a setting that you can change just like the safety car where you can put it off uh, to reduced to normal and to increased um, so yeah I'm not exactly sure like um, when it is gonna be triggered one thing is for sure it will be triggered if there's too much rainfall um, but with incidents and stuff I think it's gonna be triggered when a certain amount of uh, people are involved in a crash so best I can be uh, and I want to win. And it slides down and away we go. Do you know how I look losing easy points like this? Come on, you can do this. Not everyone survives in F1. You know that. Wheel to wheel, this is fabulous. The question is, who will be the last to break? To be fair, I don't know. At the time, I was a little bit disappointed with this reveal trailer, but looking back at it now, I've seen a deep dive. Uh, it's I like it a lot more. It's uh, you know maybe a little bit over dramatic, but I think that might you know attract the casuals. I'm not sure, but um, into the deep dive we go now. A lot more interesting stuff in there about a lot of things. Welcome to F123's official Deep Dive Part 1 with a focus on new gameplay features, handling improvements, new circuits, and more. So in the Deep Dive, they're going to be talking about, well, 35% resistance doesn't... not much to talk about, it's just an addition to the game. Uh, handling and physics, that's one that I think me and a lot of people watching this are interested in. Because the handling on F122... Was horrific and i think that's what a lot of people uh, got turned away by uh, on the game then the new tracks of course and red flags 
Um, I'm sure there's a lot to talk about there, but in this cutscene, this is Qatar. Um, you can see it looks pretty beautiful already. I, I'm not sure if this is in-game shots, but this is Qatar, right? Um, yeah, it is Qatar. Uh, just had to make sure. F-123 delivers a universal leap forward in gameplay with innovation to... Now let's go a little bit back there. I think... Is this the FOM steering wheel? I think it is. It must have changed then. Because there's... Quite sure this is... This is Bottas. This is the upper male, but... Um, this looks like the FOM steering wheel. But I'm not sure. With innovation to the vehicle physics... Now if you go a little bit back there... There is a little... Little moment we can see here. Uh, this is Austria. Because you can see it from the streets and the uphill towards uh, turn two and three. Um, you can see this has changed. Uh, there's paintings now. And that gives me hope that Austria has been updated. Um, some of you might have seen that already. But honestly. But honestly, that gives me a lot of hope. Vehicle physics engine for improvements to handling, low speed traction and overall drivability. As a result, you'll feel more predictable and authentic vehicle behavior on track in three key areas acceleration braking and rotation now that's one we've complained about a lot of course um the drivability has been terrible because you know for um it's very unpredictable when the car is going to snap it's always entry understeer and very aggressively snaps to oversteer and there is just so much understeer but it's very often um, moves to oversteer very aggressively and casuals just can't catch it even for esports players it's very hard to catch so what you could hear her say is they've listened to us to us uh, obviously we're gonna have to wait and see until the actual game came, comes out but uh, traction uh, rotation what was it? and braking so that gives me hope that they've improved on all those areas from f122 because obviously F122 driving wise and drivability wise was terrible. Authentic vehicle behavior on and as you can see there, third gear on the curb. I'm I'm confident they've done this on purpose. Um putting the car on the curb like that, third gear, if you did it on F122, you're gonna be facing to back towards the hairpin again. This is Suzuka by the way. Uh Suzuka has very low grip on F122 as well. Track in three and you can see easy flat areas. out there um, braking and rotation. now there might be some arguments where people are going to say oh this person is using traction control You're on track in three key i don't areas. think i couldn't hear traction control I can actually put the volume up a little bit More predictable and authentic vehicle behavior on track in three key areas acceleration braking and rotation to achieve this the development team first updated as a result, you'll feel more predictable and authentic vehicle behavior on track in three key areas. Acceleration, braking, and rotation. Yeah, I couldn't hear any traction control there, so that looks like um, it's a lot easier to go on full throttle uh, without having that crazy amount of, um, of wheel spin that they don't have even in real life. To achieve this, the development team first updated the physics calculations for the slip of tires and how this interacts with the inertia of the car itself. Real F1 of the car itself. Real F1 team tires and how this interacts with the inertia of the car itself. Real. And you can see there for a brief moment. Second gear, they're already on 50%. Car itself. So they've changed it a lot. Oh. And this person. F1 team feedback has been incorporated into F123 gameplay. You know, when, when the guys at Codemasters and the team came approaching me to say, look, we've tweaked the new game, give it a go, see what you feel, things you like, things you don't like. Felt like there's been quite a big change with it. The balance between aerodynamic grip from the cars and mechanical grip from the tyres was fine-tuned to get it much closer to real life. And that was a crucial one as well. On F122, it feels like you're basically driving a GT3 car when it comes down to downforce. Cops in real life is easily flat. Meanwhile, on F122, it was a full lift. Now, they are saying they have redone that. And 
the balance between arrow and mechanical grip has been completely changed. Um, and that was a huge issue as well on F122. So we might be able to see on F123 people take cops easily flat because they've balanced this out so much better. Um, again, we're going to have to wait and see, of course, until F123 comes out. But it looks like they understand what went wrong on F122, at least. And they've actually listened to a lot of the esports teams and the real life teams, of course. So. In turn, enhancing the authenticity of every drive. The way the engine delivers torque has been refined. Which then, as she says, they've refined uh, the way the engine delivers torque. Uh, helps again with the traction. Um, because, yeah, it's quite obvious that F122 um, <laughs> was like 4th, 5th gear wheel spin. So Making it more progressive relative to your gear and throttle input, which enriches all of these other changes to make throttle response more realistic. The underfloor of the cars was also improved to make interactions with curbs and rumble strips more true to life. You'll really feel all of this new handling detail through a force feedback steering wheel, but controller drivers, listen up. Introducing precision drive controller technology in F123, a transformative controller input tech to enable a more precise and rewarding driver experience on standard controllers. Whether you're driving... That is so good. Um, so, they have changed... Um, I should hear her say... 123. All the drivers, control. listen up. Introducing precision... Precision drive. Um, on F1 2020, I played a controller and was around... Maximum a second of the pace. Uh, to my wheel times, well... I won the World Championship on F122, uh, on 2020, sorry. Um, so that was pretty good for me because I never played a controller. I was a second off. Meanwhile, when I tried to drive a controller on F122, I was easily three, four seconds off because it was crazy hard to drive. So this gives me hope for controller players that it becomes much easier to drive um, on F123. Um, simply because, well, even though I'm not a controller player, F122 was crazy hard to drive. And I know the game inside out, of course. Um, I can't imagine what it was like for normal people driving on controller because you must have been spinning around non-stop. So um, I'm glad they introduced drive controller this technology in F123. Um, a transformative controller input tech to enable a more precise and rewarding driver experience on standard controllers. Whether your driving style is smooth or aggressive, Precision Drive will elevate confidence for controller players, especially during those intense wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing moments that make F1 so thrilling. I've no idea what's Real F1 there, race distances <laughs> range anywhere from about 44 laps to 78. Right, so this is it will take depending race on the circuit. When you're playing the game, a video game, game right? you might not want to commit to um, a full Grand Prix even though it'd be the most realistic yeah, experience. To alleviate this, F123's new 35% race distance option percent experience. To alleviate this, F123 We had a to a full Grand Prix here. It looks to me like Spa even has though not been updated. it'd be the most realistic experience. This looks the exact same. Um, spa has always been pretty terrible in F1 games. I'm, I don't know why. To alleviate this, F123's new um, 30 Austria here does look different, even here, like, just this wall section looks a lot different. Uh, you can see the, the hat has changed a little bit. Um, I feel like this is a little bit low down and could be annoying for TV pod players, but um, this, this looks nice. The race distance option creates an ideal balance that enables you to use a realistic race setup and strategy where tyre wear is still crucial, but you're not having to commit to race a full-length Grand Prix. 35% race distance was first pioneered for F1 Esports to give a balance of strategy and excitement. With this new setting, you can specify how you want your race weekend to play out, and races will... Oh, look at that. Yeah, so this confirms be more that... They have changed Austria completely because they, I think they added the MotoGP accessible stuff from a here. Time commitments. Uh, it would be cool if you could drive that, actually. 
Um, but again, that might be licensing uh, struggles, but it would be cool if they added as a layout standpoint. Because why not? Red flags. Building on the existing safety car feature, red flags are now in the game in F123. The system now monitors track conditions and determines. This looks beautiful though. Like the graph. Whether to trigger. Um, I know they're on the same game engine, but does this look like an improvement? It a virtual like a safety movie, car. But I'm not sure. Full safety yeah, no, car or a red flag. As you can see there, red flag. Um, race suspended cars to line up in pit lane. The sensitivity of. And this is what I was talking about. Red the flags can be adjusted. It's the same as um, with the safety cars. You can put it on reduced. Similar and to the safety car feature. A variety of things can trigger a red flag, like debris on track, cars stopping on track, extreme wet conditions, and more. <laughs> Pronto. You AI cars can initiate red flags as a result of racing incidents, but they're more likely during a multiplayer event when users are racing wheel to wheel. The new red flag feature also adds a new strategy element to race day. Under a red flag, you're allowed to adjust your race strategy. Fit Imagine you start on hearts in a league race and then a red flag lap 7. Everyone who did not start on hearts can then move on to the hearts and you are stuck because you can't do anything. That will be so unlucky. But, you know, it does add uh, more element to, uh, to league races if they decide, of course, it's going to depend per league if they're going to add it in or not. But Get new tyres and repair some damage, just like in real F1 also, race strategy. I'm quite sure the predicted lap time has changed here. Because usually it was, obviously it could go up and down a little bit, but it was a lot more linear. So, it looks to me that they might have changed tyre wear to tyre performance. Uh, of course, on F122, the softer compounds were completely useless. Um... And basically every single league race was hard to mediums because, well, the hard warm-up was too uh, slow. You lost too much time. You easily lost two, three seconds, uh, which you just cannot make up. So um, that gives me a little bit of hope that they have changed that. And now more strategies will be viable in league racing instead of always doing the hard medium. Um, so, yeah. Fit new tires and... You see, it's a lot more, like, wavy. I'm not sure. They might have Repair not some changed too much on that form, but yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see. I'm damaged, just like in real F1 races. Two brand new circuits arrive in. F this looks sick. This looks beautiful. F123, Las Vegas, and La Salle. Uh, this one does not look as sick, of course, but you know, it's like in the middle of a desert, so. I, I'm, I'm more excited for Las Vegas because it just looks more colorful. I don't anticipated know. Anticipated Las Vegas circuit has been built from the ground up in F123. That's sick to be honest. And the game will be the first chance for fans and F1 drivers themselves to experience the track ahead of the race. Now, I've raced and I said, of course, of course, but this is way more colorful and way more details. So in game, the track excited. will be as accurate as possible. It was designed from thousands of reference photos from uh, around Las Vegas. That's... A huge amount of photogrammetry data was acquired from the Vegas Strip. Now, they obviously can laser scan this because, well, there's day-to-day -day life and, um, you know, how are they going to laser scan the barriers? So, um, it does ultimate... sound like they've put a lot of effort in it. But authenticity. For the sale, official FOM computer-aided design combined with ArcGIS World Atlas aerial imagery, height data and photogrammetry of the circuit were integrated to create the most accurate representation of the new track. That sounds sick. Does that basically mean they've laser scanned it? Let me check what she says. Photogrammetry data was acquired from the Vegas Strip for ultimate authenticity. For the sale, official FOM computer-aided design combined with ArcGIS World Atlas aerial imagery, height data and photogrammetry of the circuit were integrated to create the most accurate representation of the new track. And when F123 launches, you'll be able to race at some additional fan-favourite circuits like Portimao, Paul Ricard and Shanghai. 
I'm not sure if Paul is fan favorite, to be honest, but still, I really like Paul Ricard on the F1 games. I know I'm very unpopular uh, with that opinion, but um, I'm happy they're keeping those tracks in because, yeah, it's just extra content for free, you know, um, and I'm sure many of you will agree that um, I hope they will bring more tracks in the future, additional tracks in the future. Um, that are not even on the calendar, you know? It's sick to drive on them on the F1 game. And it's just extra, um, you know, gameplay. So I hope they keep doing that um, because it is a great future. F123 was built to give you more control on track and to provide a more realistic feeling drive every time you play. Tune in to part two of the F123 Deep Dive series on the 19th of May. 19th of May, okay, okay. So that's interesting. Um, I hope they're gonna reveal more about F1 World because uh, we haven't heard anything of that and I hope that ranked system is gonna be great. Uh, I hope um, towards iRacing levels because the current ranked system is just a bit boring. Um, and yeah, sometimes you're driving in empty lobbies, you know, even though there are a lot more people on release at least playing um f1 than i racing so um i hope they're gonna improve on that um a lot because i think the ranked is what keeps people playing um i think online is what keeps people playing and of course you know stuff like breaking points might pull in the casuals but if you want um it's like sim racers like on i racing to keep coming back uh, you need a good ranked system because you're working towards something like it it keeps um keeps you want to play the game um but yeah at least i uh, i hope and i think that they uh, improve the handling um because of course from f1 2020 it was a big step down uh, even 2021 was much 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 better than f1 22 so i hope they're returning to that direction and um yeah, that it's going to be a great F1 game again. Hope you guys enjoyed my perspective of the F1 um, gameplay deep dive. Make sure to like and subscribe. I can't wait for F1 23. I'm really excited for it. Um, and see you guys next time. Ciao.